Well, on this day one year ago, Iowa experienced one of the most damaging and expensive storms that the country has ever seen. WHO 13's Taylor Musgrove joins in with the show now. She's live outside the DNR's building downtown with more on how the state is still recovering from that 2020 derecho that also claimed the lives of four people. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Andy. This derecho ripped through parts of eastern and central Iowa, causing causing the most damage in Cedar Rapids, where debris cleanup is still underway. Now, in eastern and central parts of the state, wind speeds went up to 126 miles per hour during the storm. And some areas saw wind speeds as high as 140 miles per hour. With such force, the derecho generated tornadoes, blew semi trucks off the road, and snapped power lines. In fact, ITC Midwest, who operates nearly 6,700 circuit miles of transmission lines in Iowa, estimated that across its entire service area, more than 1,200 miles of lines were impacted. Over 64,000 Iowans went without power for several days following the derecho, and insurance companies such as Nationwide are still processing claims for damaged property. Iowa DNR says the state is in the phase of replanting to make up for the 4 million trees destroyed by the derecho but says Iowans will feel the impact for years to come. A lot of these communities lost 50 to 70 percent of their canopy, and, and that's a huge blow. Um, we lost a lot of shade. I, I imagine people are, energy bills are going to be higher for years to come because of that, but also benefits such as you know, water quality, wildlife habitat, all the things our forests provide. Um, it's going to take years to recover from that. Now, according to the American Farm Bureau Federation, there was over $490 million in crop damage. And the USDA reports that as for Iowa farmers, they saw less than half of their corn and soybeans in good condition by the end of harvest season. So, again, this derecho definitely did some damage, and it'll be even a few generations before we see Iowa completely recover, Andy. Yeah, so many big trees down, so many uh, streets blocked off. It took a long time to recover, and as you, as you point out, it's really still going on. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, a year ago today. It's hard to forget that. No kidding. You didn't have power for several days. You had a hard time getting home from work that day. Mm -hmm. We booked ourselves into a hotel because Bishop was just a little guy, yeah. a littler guy then, but whew, hard to forget those moments. He just went on and on. Yeah, so many different mm -hmm. things. I imagine we'll be looking back on this all day long. Uh,